tell us a bit more about this event, yes. the Pop-Up Art School event? Yes. So I work here at the University in the School of Education and Professional Development and I work with people doing a PGCE, which is a, a teaching qualification, and my students are all training to be teachers in the creative arts, so that's art, design and music. And what I do with them every year is we pop up, so it's a temporary event that just pops up out of nowhere and then tomorrow it's gone. So we pop up around an activity and today we've popped up around this music event as part of the music festival. Today's theme is the sound system culture. Um, I first, my attention was brought to it by the book that was published by Mandy, who is over, over the road in the workshops now. Um, and yeah, I, had a, I bought the book, had a look through it, thought this looks really exciting. Um, talked to Mandeep, talked to Debo and got some ideas together to make some hands-on workshops take place. I'm here today doing um, workshops um, for the Huddersfield Contemporary Music Festival around sound system culture. And um, we're hoping to write some lyrics with some students and some people that come along and um, get them to perform on the heritage sound system across the road. Can you tell us about the activities? Yes, yeah, yeah. So they're all training to be arts teachers, so they've had to think of uh, activities because anybody can walk up to them, you know, whether they're small or a senior citizen, uh, an adult, anybody can walk up. So they've had to design an activity that all ages, all abilities could engage with. In what ways do you think this event will help you in your teaching career? Well, it's all practice and it's all experience. So that, of course, just lends itself. It gives us more, more of an understanding, more of an idea behind teaching, especially this kind of thing, because we're both musicians. So this, mm. this very much relates to us. Everyone's doing something that relates to what they're teaching. So it's really just a good idea to get a bit more experience, especially as we're in our early stages of teaching and some of us are still observing, so it's a great mm. way to kind of push it forward. So we've got uh, making bunting, we're screen printing on bags, um, we've got music activities, so you can go and play the drums, you can play guitar, we've got 10 minute drum lessons. So our theme is all about reggae, so we've used all the reggae colours, um, <clears throat> All sorts of things, loads of making activities, making little diaries with reggae album covers as covers, badge making with little reggae slogans like music is freedom. Learning how to interact with different levels of, of ability uh, really, you know, people coming here that can be beginners, it doesn't matter, they can pick the instrument up, have a go and uh, see what it really sounds like without actually having to play the instrument. Whereas people, when we're teaching in our placements, they, they'll all be trained musicians. Anyone can come in here and they're not, they're not trained, are they? You don't have to be, that's no. the thing. It's just the, it's just the experience, you know. Yeah. So. What's the message behind reggae music? Well, the message behind reggae music has always been a peaceful um, message, so the message of peace and love has been the, the foundation of what reggae music is. But it has so many different sort of genres spawning off it now that it's not always about peace and love, but the foundation of reggae music is peace and love. How many workshops all together today? We have done five workshops leading up to today in local youth centres and then there are a number of workshops taking place across in the Creative Arts Building as part of the Pop-Up Arts School. So many different activities. I'd say there's 10 to 15 different activities that are happening all at the same time whilst Paul Huxtable is DJing on the Heritage Hi-Fi system. We have done five workshops leading up to today in local youth centres and then there are a number of workshops taking place across in the Creative Arts Building as part of the Pop-Up Arts School. I like to root the theme and my projects as much in the town and the town's heritage as I can, uh, just so we have an appeal to people who actually live here. 
it's an international music festival and we do get people coming from all over the world for the 10 days that it takes place each November. Um, but I want to make sure that people in this town um, have music that means something to them as part of those 10 days. We've learned a great deal by doing it ourselves about modern black history. So are you planning to run uh, these events every year now? Um, yes, I mean it won't be sound system culture. Next year we'll have a different theme. You know, I've, I've popped up about John Cage when that was a, a popped up about something to do with memories, a composer that was doing a piece of music about memories. So this year, because the sound system culture is, you know, been a fantastic local project celebrating that Huddersfield culture. It just really lent itself, really lent itself. The pop-up event this year has really struck a chord. Reggae music has landed in Huddersfield University and left a note we will all remember in years to come. Bikachi Katenga, KLTV. Thank <laughs> you.